Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, um, and welcome to a uh, pretty interesting video. I know in my last video I said the next video would be about the, um, in Spran, but I have a schedule of uploads that I want to do, just keep everything organized, and that's not going to be for a couple more videos. So, um, here in the last video I did mention that a Raid Array, and uh, that uses fiber channel. So, right here I have a Brocade Silkworm 200E 8 port. 8 port network switch. Uh, I got this off eBay for about $20. Uh, that's not including the 20 some it was for shipping. And it is an 8 port net, or an 8 port fiber switch. Um, so I plan to have um, four Four fiber things coming off of the uh, Raid Array and uh, one or two per each uh, computer and um, the two computers are my Xserve 2,1 where the power supply is going in my uh, Mac Pro. More on that. Yes, I do have a Mac Pro wasting away in my bedroom. But if we shake all the little packing peanuts. These aren't even like packing peanuts, they're like packing puffs. Like cheese puffs. Like white cheddar cheese puffs. So in the bubble wrap, that was the uh, switch. So I'm just gonna pop this box aside. And So right here, I'm just cut this tape. Another packing puff. Are you guys, yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing, so. It. Let's throw this bubble wrap. That was awesome. I felt really good. Getting rid of that stuff. Um, this is interesting. This is a fiber from my, uh, no, no pun intended because we're fiber. Uh, this is a fiber from this table. If you saw my last video, I was scratching this table up really bad with the server. And I just hit the tripod with my box cutter. Um, so here is the switch itself. Uh, you can, you might be able to see there's four fans, or there's three fans, and then there's a slot where I can put another fan. I might actually look into that. Um, on the sides, there's nothing much other than mounting holes. And on the back here, you can see we have our IEC power input, management, management, and um, our eight. Let me put this down. Our eight um, SFP plus connectors. Um, it looks, by the looks of it, where I can put uh, eight more SFP plus connectors in here and use it as a 16 port. I'll actually do some testing with that, see if all these work. Uh, once I get my fiber, some more, or the last of my fiber equipment, which that will be uh, PCI or PCIe, PCIX uh, fiber cards and uh, some fiber fiber optic cable. Uh, we are in our in my basement right now. If you just heard that noise, we're in my basement right now just because my room's a mess and um, our water heater that's slowly dying just turned off. I'm sure I, I ranted about that in the last video. But uh, yeah, these are the SFP plus connectors and uh, these are what was on the Raid Array as well. So, um, do I have an IEC power cable? Because I could quickly power this thing up. Let me actually go around here. Yes, I do have one. Surprisingly, because I need I need the IEC power cable. It's actually like where I left it. So let me plug that in or that end over there and throw that screwdriver down there. So. And I just killed a bunch of bubbles on the bubble wrap. There we go. So let's plug this in.
So the fans go up to full speed right away. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a server, or server equipment. But you can see we have a green power light and an amber or a yellow warning light. That is, it is going through the post cycle right now. Uh, once it finishes posting, the fans go down to like an operating speed and uh, the, green or the yellow turns to green. What's it doing? Turn green and then There we go, so fans are rubbed, er, go, uh, go down. It's not a good tone to have next to your head, so I'm gonna keep this in a server rack. You can see the light just turned green. So uh, the thing works. And we have uh, our three fans just sucking a generous amount of air through the machine, or blowing a generous amount of air through it. So, forgive me, I know that's not the proper way to turn this thing off by just cutting power, but I don't have like a console management set up yet. So, um, pretty soon I might get one of those, or something like that set up. But. This was a rather short video, let me zoom out a bit there. But it was a rather short video, I know, but uh, that's, there's nothing really else to say on this machine here. So I guess, uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like or dislike. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you feel like it. And um, next video, is, uh, I have a new MacBook Pro. We shall be upgrading that with an SSD. Uh, an HDD in the optical drive bay, um, and uh, throwing Yosemite on there. And uh, yeah, I think that's all we're going to be doing to the poor machine. But basically, you'll see that in the next couple videos, and then we'll be upgrading the Inspiron down there. So um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.